Yes, hi everybody, I've just finished. Hi everybody, I've just finished watching the movie called Morphe on Showmax, which is about um, a, a, a group of guys uh, set back in the 80s in the South African Defense Force, where you had to go to the army, you had to do two years of 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 of, um, uh, of national duty to the uh, under the, the the false pretenses that it was you were fighting against communism. It was it was the ANC that you were fighting against, but it was it was them trying to just get equal rights for everybody i didn't want to go i had to if you didn't you had two years you would get a two-year jail sentence so but i went for a sport so i basically just stayed in bloemfontein and i didn't like karate and i had basically you know a free reign to a lot of things i went to university and so on so the movie is set back in the in the early, in the probably the mid 80s um so I, i'm not sure where but i know the according to the inscription or the the, the insignia on their uh, berets that they were probably infantry um, the definitely infantry. Which which infantry? I don't know. Um, so then these guys have got feelings for each other, and they are obviously gay. And um, in the one is seen, they kiss and so on. Back then, yeah, if you did that type of thing, you were ostracized. And if they were caught you, you would probably get a court martial. And if they caught you, they would probably have beaten you up, as portrayed in the movie, but a little bit sort of incorrectly. Um, they make it a really bad thing that also could have portrayed it a little bit more differently um so I'd, i i don't know i rate the movie give it like a, a three out of ten it's it's uh, it's not it's a low budget movie but you can go and watch it and make up your own mind or go and look at it on showmax and make up your own mind what you think about it so um there's a little bit of action in the scene towards the in the towards the, the three quarters through they go to angola where again not not um shown uh, where they were i think they could have just uh, done that too um, uh, exactly where they went, they weren't, didn't show. Uh, they hit a little bit of contact, meaning they hit uh, a fire. They have a bit of a firefight. One guy gets killed um, from the national or from the defense force back then, and dies. Uh, they kill the two uh, supposedly terrorists um, that were shooting at them. So there's that little bit of action. Um, they could have portrayed a lot more of that type of thing happening. Uh, could have portrayed a bit of armor or um, uh, f jet fighters. Uh, that were that was, or that could have portrayed the other side of the story as well. But I don't think that's what it, what it's about. I think they need to make a movie about the other side of the story. What um, black folk went through what they went through, what the ANC went through, why they did what they did. Read the book Long Walk to Freedom, then you'll understand why they did what they did. Um, so, you know, they sort of peacefully and violence was, the again, the only option they had to actually let the world know there's a problem and they're not receiving equal rights. Uh, always agreed upon equal rights for everybody. And one of my cousins was, for instance, uh, didn't want to go, so he left over to overseas in London and he stayed in exile till around about 95, 96 when he came, when that, when, when the, when apartheid was abolished in, um, and the ANC was, um, when Mandela was released in 1990, uh, about, uh, February, yeah, I think it was February, 1990. Um, he was released from prison, Paulsmo prison in, in Paul, I believe. And then, um, that's where I grew up in Paul. So he was released there and uh, you, yeah, all know about that story. Okay. so um, uh, then he came back so later on so the way the movie is done is not very fantastic um, so but yeah the the, the 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 rolling in the like we if, if we had it we had a real tough time too sometimes we when we did our basic training um, that would really mess you up they would never physically hit you so that part in the movie where the sergeant physically hit somebody is not true he would have been court-martialed normally back then there was a corporal um, a two-stripe corporal called the normal corporal lance corporal had one stripe and uh, two-stripe corporal would be the one that would probably shout and swear at you and call you all sorts of names and um that paid you a miserable terrible if i can recall it was 220 rand per month which is ridiculous to give to, and then the people, more people, kind of like a few people died during during basic training. I saw a guy die right next to me, and uh, it wasn't it wasn't pleasant at all. It's, I've, I've still still got got a bit of you know um, when I talk about it, I still get really emotional 
uh, about that specific night that that happened. So um, that was really bad. I mean, yeah, it was just terrible. So I think they could have portrayed the movie a lot differently. I give it like about a three out of ten or so. But yeah, go and watch it. It's about gay gay guys that have feelings and we're not allowed to express their feelings. Go and have a look at it. Make up your own mind. But guy producers whatever could have done a much better job of of it cool bye